Hello, this is the Minor Dave Everest Show, or report. Actually, it's the Minor Dave Everest Report. And uh, I'm going to be talking about uh, the uh, Defense Production Act here. And I'll be placing in the description um, uh, uh, links to Google Thumb Drives to... Uh, putting everything together that would help us understand why, what President Trump's going to do with uh, the Defense Production Act. In this case, he's using it against, for medical, right now, currently, he's using it, and it's been signed into authorization. And he's got, a, what do you call it, a national disaster in all 50 states, all at once. It's never happened before. So... Uh, when he goes, when he gets the information on the medical, he'll be able to take, uh, uh, county by county and lift restrictions or modify restrictions. And the states have to go by that. So if he wants to get people back to work where it's where possible, he'll be able to do that because Congress authorized him to do that when they approved the the invisible war by the way this is what they call the invisible war right now they they may be because you can't see the virus but there's a lot of things that happen behind the scenes that most people don't see or don't pick up on and it's kind of like hiding in plain sight but um it still get, it, it still gets missed and so now What he can do through this Defense Production Act is he can tell companies you're no longer going to have your supply chain uh, at the behest of a foreign power. You'll be able to bring it home or to an ally that we have a treaty with. If not, you have to bring it home. The supply, the medical supply chain, uh, That includes all aspects of the medical supply chain. That includes devices and medications or or drugs. Um, Even vitamins will have to have the supply chain here and only here. So I would say, uh, and that goes for critical strategic minerals. Secondly, uh, I'll be covering later on another one, but it's got to do with um, stopping the removal of co- uh, coal plants and stopping the removal of hydroelectric plants uh, due to national security concerns. And I'll cover more of that in detail in another one. But I, I basically want to say is this is for critical strategic minerals. We have the mine capability here. We have, we can locate them, we can mine them, and we can bring the supply chain home. That means we have to be able to open up our mines here in the West. We have to be allowed to mine for the minerals we need. And, um, or you won't have a modern life. You won't have your computers. You won't have electrical plants. You won't have batteries. You won't have fuel cells. You won't have anything. You'll be deindustrialized, and you'll be in poverty row if you don't let us unleash the miners. And so I would like to unleash the mining community and have them write President Trump and ask him uh, to uh, remove regulatory barriers for opening up... uh, productive mines and oh that includes refineries uh forms of manufacturing because see once you get the mineral out of the ground it has to then be refined and then it has to be fabricated I mean lots of jobs lots of them now some of this can be done robot- robotically and there'll be a whole series of new type of manufacturing that's going to come by they can already do 3d printing of metal type uh, um, stuff so they can do some of this stuff robotically you won't need as many people to run the fabrication plants 
but there'll be high paid jobs for the guys that are keeping it all orderly. Have a good day, have a good evening, and I'll talk to you on another broadcast coming soon.